Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a return subscriber or family member here, if this is your first time stopping by, I'm Wilma Kaysen, welcome aboard. I would love for you to, at the end of this video, check out my content, see if you like my personality, and strongly consider becoming a family member on my channel here. We have a really, really good time. And you can do that by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell below so you get notified every single time I load new content. Guys, Today's video is another fun video. I am in the same outfit I was in in my last video because, I mean, why not sit home on the weekend and go through these videos? So, this tag was started by Mel and Melbourne, and it's a really, really fun tag, and it's What's Your Luxury Name Tag? And basically, you pull items from your collection to coincide with each letter in your name, and I'm Will McCason, as I previously mentioned. I was just gonna do Will, but I mean, I always introduce myself as Will McCason, and it is in its entirety. So we are going to go through every single letter. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna try not to make it long. And this was hard. This was really, really hard, because I also wanted to showcase some items in my collection that I previously haven't really shared so much on my channel. So just bear with me, okay? And some of these are a stretch, but no judgment. Let's have some fun. So the W in Will, we're gonna go with wop, wop, wop. Get Your Life Together. It's the Wapity. That's what I meant when I said WAP. And I'm referring to the Louis Vuitton Wapity. You guys, this is in monogram canvas, classic monogram canvas with the Vachetta strap. And it also is trimmed in monogram canvas. You guys, this little piece was my go-to camera bag for ages, like I absolutely love it. If you are a vlogger and you ca you use the Canon G7X, it does fit inside of this perfectly. And you guys, look at that beautiful suede microfiber, I don't even know, interior, it's gorgeous. It does have an interior pocket there, which I used to use to carry an extra battery. I don't use it as much because I currently use another camera bag, which I will show you later in this video, which I've carried often and so many people have asked me about, which I'm going to do a video on soon, but yes, this is the Louis Vuitton Obapity. This item here is by Bottega Veneta, and it is the Intrasiato <laughs> bifold wallet, and the Intrasiato, I think, basically refers to the, the woven method that's used to make their leather pieces. This is the wallet here. It's in this taupe color. I absolutely love it. This is what the inside looks like. It is a beautiful wallet. You guys, if you guys did not see my luxury wallet collection, I will leave that linked above. But you guys, I couldn't think of anything for else. I just picked luggage tags. These, I was gonna do a project on them, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And you guys remember when the luggage tag frenzy ensued about three years ago. Everybody had to have them. Different colors, different hot stamping, different cities. I think it clearly is still going on, but ever since Louis Vuitton put a restriction on buying them as replacement parts because people, I am people, we're going in and buying them in bulk. I, they, they pulled the reins on it and you can no longer get them unless, as usual, you have a good relationship with the client advisor, but yes, so L is for luggage tag. So for the M and McCason, I chose to go with my Montsori backpack. I absolutely love this thing. This is my baby. I do also have it in the, in the classic monogram, but I wanted to give this baby some shine today. I do love this piece so much. I love that it had this terracotta color lining back in the day. Um, I just, I miss old school Louis Vuitton. I miss old school Dami Ibn. Um, it does have the drawstring top. I did get a luggage tag that has a W there. And I picked that up from the Fifth Avenue store in New York City, um, in the year of the rooster. So I think it was like 2016, I'm not sure. So yes, that is the Montserrat backpack for M and McCason. Now, if you thought that the Intra Seattle wallet was a stretch for the last I, the I and McCason, I'm going with my Gucci iPad case. You guys, I mentioned this in a previous video, again, which I would leave above, which is luxury items I never thought I would buy, that tag, and I don't use this item. I wanna get back into using it because I wanna get a new iPad, but I just, 
I never obviously reach for it. My old iPad is just literally, I think, first or second gen. Um, and yeah, don't use this. I tried to put my laptop in it, my MacBook Pro 13 inch, no go. For the K in McKayson, I went with the key holder. This is the six ring key holder in monogram empreinte leather. And you guys, this is just a really beautiful piece. I have carried it a couple of times and it has just not failed. I do have the six key holder in Dami Ibn and monogram canvas as well as Epi leather and I love all of them. The Epi leather one gets the most use but um, I want to start using this one a little bit more as well as the other ones. I need to rotate them more but every single day in one of my bags is certainly a six key holder. The next letter A in McKayson is my, I'm going to go with my monogram abesis, abesis messenger bag and you guys this is one of the first luxury bags that i obsessed over when i was a tween a teenager not a tween a teenager um and when i acquired it as an adult i just i absolutely it holds a special place in my heart this has the slot here for you to put over rolling luggage and then this right here is one of those very unforgiving back pockets which is really just kind of this area right here but it's still a beautiful bag nonetheless. On the bottom portion here, it opens and closes like that. And it has this little cord here with the plate that says Louis Vuitton. And when you lift it up, two slots here. It is just a really, really beautiful bag. I love it. I don't use it as much as I used to, but this is a phenomenal bag. So for the A is the monogram Abessis messenger bag. So for H, I knew I wanted to pick Hermes. I didn't want to give my bracelets any shine because I've shown them a thousand times on my channel. My Hermes belts, you guys just saw a previous video with those. So I wanted to showcase something that I very rarely show on my channel. Something that I don't really fancy that I've been trying to sell. So if you're interested, <laughs> and I'm talking about my Izmir sandals by Hermes. These are a size 43 and a half. You guys can clearly see they have never been worn. These are just not my vibe. I think I want to try them in the Epsom leather. I've had them for two years. I tried to sell them to Fashion File, The Real Real, and these were 710, which I want to make note that there has been a price reduction on these because they're no longer 710. But these were 710 and unworn with the box with the receipt with the dust bags all the accompanying paperwork and everyone's trying to sell trying to buy them for me for 300 or like somebody offered me 295 300 and 350 and i was like no thanks so they've just been sitting here collecting dust and the past two summers i'm like just wear them and i i don't know my feet don't fit properly in them i think i need to go up a size to a size 44 there's really no grip to them so i'm just slipping and slide i don't know they're just they're not it for me. But they made the cut for this video. H in McKayson, Hermes is a mirror sandals. Okay guys, so the S <laughs> is my steamer backpack in the monogram Eclipse. Oh, this is my baby. If you don't have this bag, if you haven't been in the presence of this bag, you are missing out. My girl, K. Rose thanks Kim. She has this backpack. I know she loves it. There's a few other people in our community who have it. It is such a stellar bag, you guys. There are some cons to it, obviously, like it taking you 10,000 years to get in the bag after you unlock it, pull the straps out, and then open it. It is a lot to get in this bag, but it's rewarding once you do, and I just, I love this bag. I took it to Paris with me. It was the perfect travel companion. I love this bag and at, and at just about $3,000, you get your bang for your buck. It is definitely worth it. I'm just, I love it. So for O and McKayson, we're gonna go with my Louis Vuitton O copy bag, belt bag, case, camera bag. I don't know what you wanna call this thing. It has been so freaking good to me. This is the loop back here that you wear and that you can put through your belt loop. There's a front pocket here. It zips open and on the inside you have this leather lanyard strap which you can throw around your neck, clip it here and carry it like so. As you can tell how curled up this strap is. It always stays curled up and in the dust bag when I use this. But you guys, 
again, came to Paris with me, has gone to concerts with me. When you need the ultimate hands-free and you just wanna carry a little bit, this is your go-to. Now, this fits pretty much a card case if you're not carrying a camera, because this is my camera case for now. But if you're going out and you just wanna carry essentials, card case, hand cream, hand sanitizer, sunglasses won't fit in here, unless they're maybe fold with sunglasses, but this, is phenomenal. Many of you have asked me to do a review on this. I will do that soon. I have a laundry list of videos to do. But this, you guys, if you find this on the pre-love market, the Okapi case is freaking phenomenal. It's a great upgrade from the previously mentioned Wapiti. This is a stretch, but home stretch, and it is still a stretch as well. <laughs> this is the N, and I'm gonna go with this Navy Gucci, Gucci Sima messenger bag, you guys. I've mentioned this in a previous video. I have the burgundy color, and I also have the the Gucci and Neiman Marcus exclusive from 2007, I believe, which is just all black with the red and green web down the middle. This bag, it kind of contradicts my messenger bag rule of being 14 inches in width. This might just be 14. It's probably 13 and a half. I'm not sure, but rules are meant to be broken sometimes right so this kind of breaks that rule but i love this messenger bag if you just look those deep hues of navy oh my gosh i love when i carry this bag it's typically like a fall winter bag for me it comes across as black if you just catch it on a, on a glimpse when you're walking by it looks black but it is navy and it fits the n in mckeeson and that's it you guys well, that was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching my What's Your Luxury Name Tag. I can't imagine saying all those names back to back to introduce myself in the language of luxury. However, you guys are awesome for watching. Mel in Melbourne, you're awesome for creating this tag. I'm not tagging anyone as usual. I am the last person to do the tag, but it was super fun. If you're one of my subscribers, followers who don't normally comment, this is your time. Let's sound off in the comment section below. Let's spark a conversation. What, what luxury name do you have? Let me know in the comment section below. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.